Are you free at the moment? Yes. Can you just call respiratory? Okay. Uh, we'll need someone to help with advanced airway and we'll need uh, x-ray as well, please. Okay. Everything about healthcare is a team effort. That's what a group of high school students learned during a whirlwind introduction to what a career as a rural health professional might look like. High school students in the East Central Alberta town of Vegreville arrived at St. Joseph's General Hospital for the RPAP-sponsored Rural Skills event. And I want you to rock the palms of your hands together. 50 students coming from Vegreville Composite High School and St. Mary's Catholic High School toured the facility and attended short sessions, introducing them to a variety of potential careers in healthcare. Yeah, so this is your chest cavity. They even x-rayed a turkey. Okay. Ladies ready and gentlemen, one, two, three. RPAC teamed up with a local group of innovative thinkers who hoped to grow their own healthcare professionals, sending them out into the world after high school to learn skills that they hope will eventually bring the students back to their rural roots. This is ultimately in all our best interest in rural communities to provide that opportunity uh, for rural students to go away and get educated, explore, travel, and then come back. The day was truly a collaborative effort, with a number of local organizations and businesses pitching in to make the day a big success. Organizers hope the students take away a determination to work hard, believe in themselves, and consider returning to Vegreville for a career in healthcare. The geography of Alberta presents us with some extraordinary challenges and we've got to meet the challenge of providing care to patients as close to their community as possible and providing rural healthcare is very much a team sport. Although we sometimes focus on the doctors and the nurses, we forget that they're only a part of the massive team of people that are needed to deliver rural healthcare. I think it's instrumental to have start at the high school level where kids may not know what they want to do yet to give them the opportunity to see what's actually out here. Always going back to grow your own. So we knew there were students in our high schools who are wanting to become health professionals and we thought, you know, give them a taste of what they're looking at and see where they go from there. Well, I've always been interested in the medical field. I actually want to be a general practitioner, so I thought it would be a good experience to be coming to a hospital to be able to see like more about what doctors do. And then I was also part of the planning, so to see it happening, planning, and then to actually experience it today was quite interesting. It was a great experience. I learned more like in-depth, hands-on about what everybody does. Not just like looking on a website and reading a little three sentence paragraph on what it's about. We looked at how we could plant the seed um, for up and coming health professionals sooner so they would think about coming back to rural and what better way to do it is those that live in rural communities already. The hands-on activities definitely has created a lot of interest. I actually really enjoyed the sutures. <laughs> those were probably my favorite. I think the most important thing for rural students to take away is that opportunity is limitless. So similarly to the idea that it takes a village to raise a child, um, it also takes a village to, to support a professional and that's what our goal ultimately is.